Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Listen, your boy is back and he done did it again. Oh, oh, oh. So listen, last week I told you guys, hey, the new challenge is to come here and create a new menu, okay? Create something new. Create something that we haven't seen, something that we can say, wow, this guy knows what he's doing. Or wow, he thought of something very creative that we've never seen before. So this week we are actually going over the ones that got submitted, you know? I apologize if there's some sounds in the back, you know, some people are cutting down trees, of course, they got to do it on my time, right? So, <laughs> it is what it is. So, let's get into it, okay? So, let's go. All right. So, we have here, this is a menu by somebody called Always Be Coding. He didn't give us his real name, so it is what it is. Uh, basically, this is the menu that he created. It says home or go blog. Oh, I guess that's the menu. So you basically, you keep on clicking for the next page that you want. And then you go and press go. And then it will take you to the next page. Seems cool. It's a cool idea, but I don't know if that will be useful. I think when somebody clicks a button for a menu, they want to see the whole menu and then just go to the page that they want to go to. They don't want to keep on clicking until they get to the uh, basically the title or the name of the page right that might take a little while so yeah thanks for trying definitely shout out to you uh for sure come through and show us what you got on the next challenge okay let's see who else is in here so we have somebody who is named john disler okay so he wants to be creative he's like wait coding phase nah scratch that challenge phase okay <laughs> so i like it so let's see Click there, redo. Okay. I guess cha 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 services. Okay, you know who it is. <laughs> About challenge <laughs> challengefreeze.com. Okay. It's cool. I like it. I like the the fact that you're being creative. Have a little money from the uh from the inside of this two things. And it's just like it just pops up. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Very simple, very easy. Okay, now the next one is by your boy. Uh, what's his name? Paulo Rivero. Okay, so Paulo Rivero came up with this this menu. Okay, you click on the hamburger. All right. Okay, fancy with it. All right, I like it. I like that he actually putting a lot of time into this this menu. Click on it. Disappears. Nice. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty legit. Let me see what you use. You actually used. Okay, I see a lot of vanilla JavaScript. Okay. There you go. So a lot of vanilla JavaScript. And you use some SAS for your CSS and regular HTML. Nice. I like it. So let's go to the next one. The next one is uh let's see the what's it the one pothead he created this okay we click here and there we go so i guess it's a menu for pokemons okay i like it seems pretty cool all right i like the fact that they come out of the pokeball so that's cool all right now let's jump to the next thing which is basketball okay so this is a menu let's refresh this one more time just to see if there's any animations okay it's just the menu all right click there okay nice nice and clean i like the little balls rotating okay and by the way like i said guys i apologize if you're listening to like crazy noise in the background like i said if we wanted to get this video out by 1 p.m today we needed to do it no matter what because they want to do it on my time right why they got to do it on my time can't you do it another time no they want to do encoding face time but it is what it is man okay 
<laughs> All right. So let's see what's the next one. The next one that we have here. Now, this one is done by Brandon Toller. So it's a simple menu. Okay. Just a little quick hover effect. Has like a little radiating menu. Pretty cool. You know, definitely shout out to you for joining the challenge. Okay. Pretty cool. Now, the only thing that I will say is this right here, you got to align it better. Like if it's going to be aligned, make sure that it's, it's like from 100% of the width of this, this other element. So it could actually look good and maybe a little animation coming down instead of just popping up like that. Okay. But definitely shout out to every single one of you guys for trying the challenge, right? This week, I think a lot of you guys tried, right? A lot of you guys tried and I feel like some of you guys kind of missed the point of what the challenge was. The challenge was to really try to create something new, something that we've never seen before, right? I've seen a lot of you guys doing horizontal menus. We kind of have seen that in almost all of the websites, right? Uh, the point of it was to really get you guys to start thinking outside the box, right? Maybe make it come up from the bottom or even put it all the way at the bottom. When was the last time you seen a menu at the bottom of the screen, right? We always see the menu on the top, right? But we never see the menu at the bottom. The only time that we see at the bottom is on mobile, right? But besides that, like we never see it at the bottom, right? So maybe you could have tried that for the web or, you know, try some type of way, like instead of coming from the left, make it come from the right, you know, or come from the bottom like that. You know, one thing that I liked about uh, was it the the guys, the one pot heads uh, menu is that. It's like it's coming from here it's coming from over here and expands to the whole page i like that i like the idea of that i like the let me see who else i like what this guy did where it's on the left side but it opens up that was pretty cool um i also this one i don't know this one is a good try but you gotta also think about the user experience right so for those of you guys that didn't see the ones that i was talking about Right, so the one pot heads menu comes up from here and expands from this small area to the whole page. Now, this other one basically opens up from here and comes from top to bottom. And I think it's cool, right? Now, for this one, like I said, I don't think as a user, because you also got to think about user experience. Like, if you want to go to a page, you kind of don't want to keep on clicking to be like, okay, I got to get to the next thing. What if you have 20 pages, right? You don't want to be in the clicking, like, click, 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 click. Like, <laughs> I want to get to the page. I don't want to come in and, and click to 20 different things just to go to the page that I, I want to go to, you know? So definitely you got to work on the USA experience for this. Now, if I was to choose my top two, top two, top two, I will have to say is between this one because it's 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 clean right even though this is not very innovative right because we kind of have seen this before like this is a this is like a, a select box right so it is what it is but it's clean right and it has like a subtle animations okay now also at the same time it's like you could see a user being comfortable with this this menu okay so that's simple now i think the the big winner in this one is gonna be uh who was it that made this uh, i believe it's paulo ribeiro right so he did this with javascript and css and some html right so we click here nice animations there you go everything shows up and it's good right even when the animation leaves it also it, it just it works you know what i mean so i really like this one i feel like he really put in a lot of work into it 
Um, and I, I think I'm going to give it to him, right? So, shout out to Paulo Rivero. I think you're the winner of this week's challenge. You know, shout out to you. Uh, definitely, man, much love. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys that actually came in and, and submitted to the challenge, okay? All right, guys, so stay tuned to make sure you don't miss next week's challenge if you want to be part of this, okay? Now, next week's challenge is to recreate a newspaper okay you have a website that looks like a newspaper now some of you guys might think why do we care about this why should we do this the whole point of this is to help you work with typography and also spacing and at the same time how to organize things within a page okay so you're probably thinking, Joe, so how are we going to do this? I mean, a newspaper? Well, search online, right? Search online, literally on Google, search for newspaper. Come here, search for newspaper, and look how newspapers usually be laid out, right? You could create a very simple page just like this. Large letters, say San Francisco Chronicles, have the title, have a couple of columns, right? And if you want, man, like this is a great way to practice CSS Grid because creating a newspaper with CSS Grid is super easy, okay? Now, I'm not asking for you guys to make this website re you know, responsive. I don't want you to do anything, but it has to be within a container, meaning it has to be a set width. If you are on a laptop, try to do it at 1200 pixels, right? Or a thousand pixels. Now, if you are on a desktop, right? Maybe a 1080p um, screen or like, let's say, or even a larger screen laptop, try to do it between 1400 to 1600 pixels, right? So the newspaper needs to be within that container. All right. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple uh, concept. Just come in, recreate a newspaper and yeah, come show it to us next week. All right. I'm going to see you guys later. Anyways, man, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video and please, guys, show some love by leaving a comment, leaving a like. And at the same time, if you're part of the 365 Coding Face Challenge, leave your links in the description so we could actually look that you're actually coding every day. All right. It's that simple. And guys, by the way, check out the links in the description. Like I always say, check out the links in the description. There's a lot of good resources there. And at the same time, you could get 50% off on my website. Everything on my website, if you use the links in my description. And like I said, it's limited time only. Okay, so take advantage while it's still here. Peace.